This is also important stuff. And in, in Jodo Shinshu and other schools of Japanese Buddhism, we emphasize this about the Buddha. The Buddha has died GE, not just compassion, but kindness, friendliness, wants us to not to suffer. And that's why also I point out on page 96. I remember showing it to Al Bloom, and he didn't remember it. But uh, when I went with the youth group in 2001, it was gone. And what it was, it's a big statue, of, a big brass statue, and it is a replica of their central image of Rokaku, the temple where Shinran meditated for 95 years. It went down and been rebuilt a few times. But it was one of those three still extant temples that were built under the direction of Prince Shokotaishi. Rokaku, Oruji, and Oruji. The only one that has never burned down was Horuji. And that is famous for being the largest entirely wooden structure on earth. Uh, and this is actually a modern brass statue, but it's a rendering of a little one that's inside the tabernacle that you cannot see. <laughs> Reverend Eric Matsumoto, who uh, is now the Japanese friend, and his friend, the old person, never seen anyone do this, but his friend would bring a flashlight. <laughs> and he'd stand there and go in there, and then people would first go, oh, and then they go, oh. <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea. We can see now. But, you know, it, it's very frustrating. Horuji, uh, Rokokudo, many of the famous temples, you go, and it's just this dark wooden thing, and you try to look and see what's in there, and you can't. So at one point, the Tendai temple of Rokokudo said, well, let's give up on the to I'll mention in a minute here that that's brought images of. According to Japanese history, this is a Korean statue. It was carried by the Korean emissaries in the 6th century. But I quite wanted this one because even though it's just a, a, a modern bronze casting, I think the smile, is, this benevolent smile, is very well realized on this. And then on top of that, I like the multi arm image, the multi arm concept for Kondong. Yeah. You know, you'll often go, uh, and some of these old statues, the so-called thousand arms, they'll have the statues. It's not quite a thousand, but they'll, they'll show maybe 20 arms clearly, and then in the relief, there's indication of 30 arms. But then it's so detailed, and there's so many things, it, it kind of loses meaning. But this is quite nice because here she has six arms. Actually, I say she, but having come from Korea in the sixth century, this is this androgynous one. It's really hard. I mean, if you didn't know if this is a man or a woman, it's very hard to say. And I'd say, in retrospect, you'd have to say, it actually looks more like a man than a woman. But I still think she, because I, I this strong tendency to connect Kondo, the voice of compassion, with the family, 